On today's Fit to Eat, I'll be preparing blueberry barbecue pork loin with garbanzo bean and bitter green salad. My guest is Mississippi's Secretary of State, Belbert Hoseman. Registered dietitian Rebecca Turner has some useful information about fruit juices. It's going to be a great show, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Fit to Eat. I'm your host, Rob Stinson. My guest today is Mississippi's Secretary of State, Delbert Hoseman. <laughs> Delbert, welcome to the show. Welcome I, back I, to the show. show. Thank you. I look forward to it every year. It's awesome. Well, and you got everything lined out let, here. It's oh, nice. let me tell you, man. This Ooh, is going to be good. a fun one. So we're going to actually do some stovetop smoking. Fantastic. That's done very healthy. Awesome. And we've got this beautiful pork loin. I know. It's, it's really good. So this is like a healthy barbecue, if, if, if you could picture that. I'm for it. You know, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to take a zero fat spray and just literally spray those pork chops so they don't stick. And just a little pepper because we have so much in the sauce, they don't need much seasoning. Now we're going to come to this side, take the lid off the smoker. And this is a ah, really you got unique. got wood chips in here. Yeah, this is a unique way of doing a stovetop smoking. So we're going to put our pork up on this rack. Yeah. We've got our chips there. And this is so easy to do at home. We cover it. That's oak. Is like oak in there? That's actually mesquite. Mesquite. And then we turn mm. that heat on medium high. And you notice the heat is only on under the chips. I got you. So there's that's smoke. that's the trick. All right. That is the trick. What makes it work, and it's a really unique way of doing it. So we've got it up on medium high. Yeah. And I'm going to do it about six minutes. Yeah. That's all it takes to put a good smoky flavor. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, absolutely. So we're not we're not smoking it overnight. We're not doing any of that craziness. Now, here in front, we're going to actually make a healthy. Blueberry. Um, I'm in with barbecue. blueberries. Uh, they are awesome. Now, they're oh, they're right. antioxidant. They're good for brain, heart. Oh, uh, they're so incredible. Vitamin K, whatever. They've got it my, all. My breakfast every day, and everybody laughs at me, is blueberries, zero fat vanilla yogurt, and cashews. Oof. And I make it's delicious, you know. And people are like, Rob, how can you eat healthy every day? I'm like, man, I like eating healthy. That's good I, food. I make my I make my own little uh, stuff. I have a I have a uh, Oh, that's nice. We we put blueberries, strawberries, some whey, and some ice, and some low-fat milk together, and, and I make my own sundae. Oh, and that's it, great! Awesome. That's great. I mean, and you don't get hungry. I used to, you know, long I'd eat a bunch of Oreos during the day and everything. Right. But boy, you take one of those and you are full all the way past and it, lunch. It, and and you know what? It's the best thing you could possibly eat because it's all healthy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And the protein like is good. All right. So all good. we have in here right now is garlic and blueberries. Unusual combination. I know. Huh? I know. I might see how this tastes after you get it. All right. A little black pepper, and we'll season a little more as we go so we don't kill ourselves. Why here. marry the blueberries with the pork? Well. I just think that it's a beautiful, I've always liked putting Sweeter. some type of fruit sauce with poultry yeah. or pork. Yeah. You know, like you see just like a brandy peppercorn sauce where they may add in some type of fruit. Yeah. And I just have always thought it was a neat way to do it. Now, we've got a lot I'm going to put in here. This is some fresh Mississippi horseradish. I didn't so know it's there gonna, was Mississippi horseradish. There is Mississippi we horseradish. Everything else we ought to have and that. this is actually, this is actually made and harvested down on the Gulf Coast. So some friends of mine there do There you it. go. Yeah, pretty neat. Now, a little white pepper will really give it a, a much spicier taste. And white pepper is different from black pepper because... Yeah, it's it's ground spicier. differently. And yeah. let me tell you, it's it's much more potent. And you feel that on yeah. the back. So you don't want to ever use as much white pepper as it's you do black, black pepper. pepper. I got you. All right, so now we're going to keep going with this. It's those blueberries will start cooking down. To add just a little bit more oil in there. I have never seen them done like this. Throw in some brown sugar, horseradish, 
I love horseradish. I, I do I mean, too. I it, might see how that tastes out though. I, you've got it all is, in there. Yeah, a little bit, and, and I don't need much. This is hot sauce. We don't want to make it too spicy. The crew here can't handle spice, you know? Yeah. They're just kind of lightweights with I'm that. mainly worried about Delbert, but go ahead. Hey, <laughs> I think you'll enjoy <laughs> it. I hope you do anyhow. So you're basically making the sauce for the topping. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, outstanding. Yep. And, and the smell, and as, I know as they these can't. Go. If y'all could, if y'all had the aroma of this, now your this, mouth would be watering, I'm just telling you. This, we're gonna go ahead and cut the smoke off. Now what we do not wanna do, what you never wanna do if you're doing this at home, would be to take the lid off that now. Because, because you, you yeah, your smoke alarm, you'd have your fire department, yeah. you'd have all your neighborhood friendlies there. All right, little Dijon mustard in here next. Very good. I get use, use Durkies, but I'm not sure what the difference is, but Durkies is really yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's very good. And believe it or not, a little bit of old fashioned ketchup. And we're gonna turn this into a beautiful, tangy, spicy, flavorful blueberry barbecue. That is awesome. That looked good. Yes, it's, it's, and it's, uh, the aroma is awesome. I know, that's the part I that's know, just man, hard to even you cook the, If you okay, cook now, this around the camp, Now, last year, eat. you did so well helping me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it again. That I'm gonna have you right. actually stir this in just a moment. Okay. What we're gonna do now, ready? Yeah. Take this off, set the smoker top right here. Yeah. And it's ever so that's subtle cool. what we have there. We're gonna add the oil. And then one by one, and you'll see the flavor is just so subtle that it's added. So the, the actual uh, smoking only took like five minutes? Yeah, that's all we do. I'm not, I'm not real keen on taking over the flavor. Like, I'll smoke fish this way. I do tuna or I do salmon that way. Yeah. Salute is famous for their smoked salmon, and that's exactly how we smoke it. Six minutes, and then when you order it, we grill it. And it just comes out perfect that way. Yeah, it, it gets and imparts enough of a flavor without being overbearing. That is awesome. And you can do that inside versus getting your whole grill started and all that other kind of stuff. It, or green egg how, or whatever I mean, It's so easy. I'm going to do a little housekeeping here and just move this out of the way. Set it right over here. And this then if you want to move sticking. that, you can move that pan right up here on the front. I'm going to yeah. go ahead and turn your heat on a little bit. All right. That way we'll get that sauce cooking as well. So anyhow, so let's talk about some fun stuff here in Mississippi. All right. So what what topic? If I'm if I'm thinking about the Gulf Coast right now, I just see so much growth going on and a lot of good things coming oh, yeah. up. Yeah, we, and I know that it's probably true elsewhere in the state. It is in certain parts. We, we're geographically struggling some. We've got a, a tremendous agrarian economy in the Delta, and of course hunting season and whatnot supplements that. But the coast ha has it all. And over the last 10 or 12 years that we've been working down there, we've acquired between 30 and 35,000 acres wow. of marshland. And we have put covenants on every one of those to where uh, that can never be changed without the unanimous vote of everybody down on the coast. I thought that was very important. And then we've we finished the acquisition of... Um, of Cat Island and Deer Island has been had. Well, I've heard nothing but just great things about the Cat Island project. Unbelievable. We we ended up adding 250 feet to the east side of it. The Corps engineers put that on. It was about a 16 million dollar operation to preserve the island. When when they cut the pass through for Gulfport, they stopped sand, which goes in our counterclockwise in the Delta, from accumulating back on the island. It was going away. Yep. It was washing away. It's yep. an alluvial island. It actually was part of a river stream at one point, and the rest of it sunk down. That's why it's so shallow out there. But that island has great history, uh, just the ability to go out. We want people to go out on the island, fish over in Scotchman's Cove, walk the place. That We're working closely with the, with the federal government, who owns one-third of the island, and you and uh, three million other Mississippians. On the other which, two which we love. Yeah. Oh, it'll be there, I and mean, it'll be there for your children, your grandchildren, and their grandchildren. And and you know, I think that's the part a lot of people miss. Let me see if that's mm. on or not. There we it go. It was clicking. There we go. Got it. And uh, you know, I think that the future of what's there for our families is the key. And you know, we we talked about something before the show, and I've got to say this: it's a pleasure for me because I drive down from Long Beach to Biloxi or Gulfport yeah, every right. day. Highway 90. On Highway 90. Yeah. Every day. 
And I love that you can still see the water, as yeah. opposed to some other states, I won't mention Alabama, yeah. Florida, yeah. Yeah. where you can't even see the water anymore, yeah. you know? And yeah. I think that's a, that is a beautiful thing that people just take for granted. They do. And I don't. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love being there. I think it's just a great place to be. I can tell you, every day somebody comes up with a better way to use the sand beach than you do. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I have preserved that, and we've worked with uh, the Board of Supervisors in Harrison County. This is a little awesome. honey that we're adding. Very good. Mississippi honey, I hope. At, uh, actually, this uh, we've had the gentleman who makes this honey on the show. Really? Yeah, yeah. He is a Baptist, a Baptist minister and beekeeper at the same time, and, dear uh, Dr. LaRue Stevens. You know, they open the hive and they have to go catch them. They have to put tra uh, traps in the other trees or they'll leave forever. Beekeeping's a real serious sport around Mississippi, and there's a whole association, and uh, you'll see it in the stores around now. It's really, really good. Well, and you know, it's got kind of a therapeutic, I mean, uh, it's actually got a medicinal quality, not therapeutic, yeah. in the fact yeah. that, you know, you healthy. can help with allergies. Yeah. On the, right, Gulf, so on the Gulf Coast, I will tell you. That you ready so for this? Much Wait, of the, yes, one, we are. one last step we're going to do here is actually put the pork chop. Do you want to immerse that? And we're going to leave them where they look so pretty just so we can get a good right. camera shot right now. But, yes, they're definitely going to be immersed in there. But look how pretty that came out, huh? So they're going to cook and actually soak up some of that sauce. That's awesome. And then How the, do you come up with these recipes? Man, I You've tell done you done what. this before. Yeah, <laughs> a few times. A few times. But this is really a good one. And this will be That's set up for a family of four. So, you know, I mean, the key being, and then I try to make use of everything. This pan will keep warm, and I'm going to deglaze it and make the, the collard green, bitter green salad base mm. by making the flavors all blend together, yeah. and you get the flavor of the pork into it. So the idea of this is how a family could cook and not make a big mess in their house. That's you awesome. Know? Yeah, and just awesome. utilize several different things. Those sounds of rain, that, that is the staff out here drooling. <laughs> all, all these camera people are drooling. That's what and, it sounds like. And, you know, I know they are, too, because... Yeah, absolutely. Well, they, you know why they're happy? Because they know this is for a family of four. They're going to eat really well right now. You know, Lunch and, will be shortly. Well, and I tell you what we'll do. I'm going to go ahead. The collard greens are in season, right? Oh, yeah. Collard yeah. greens are beautiful. You know, it, it's, it's different times of year yeah. when you can get things. And today I'm going to blend in some radishes with those collard greens. Yeah. And we're going to make a, garba a garbanzo yeah. bean salad to go with those. So you've got all the protein of the garbanzo beans protein of the pork and you notice look it's just awesome. this is there, there is virtually no fat on those pork loins no there's not hardly any at all and now you've got them smoked then in addition to the smoke you've got them in a blueberry sauce with, I mean, with radish and i mean you know nobody's ever seen that I, i've never seen it never heard anything like that and i know it's gonna be good it's gonna be delicious all yeah, right well listen we're going to take a short break and go to registered dietitian Rebecca Turner, my dear friend. She has some interesting information about fruit juices. We'll be right back. Between one and a half to two cups a day. That's how much fruit you and your family should be including in your diet. If you or your kids are not fond of eating fruit, you likely turn to juice to fill the fruit gap. Now, research suggests that drinking small amounts of 100% fruit juice doesn't affect your health. However, not all store-bought fruit juices are 100% fruit. Start by checking the label to see how many of the calories come from actual fruit. Remember, fruit juice contains calories, just like any other food or calorie-containing drink. Too much fruit juice can contribute to weight gain and the development of chronic diseases. Six ounces is a serving of fruit juice. Now as your registered dietitian, I prefer to see you enjoy the benefits of fruit from its whole forms. When you choose whole fruits, you gain the benefits of the fiber found in the pulp as well as in the skin. Now this extra fiber helps you feel fuller longer and it's an important advantage when you're watching your weight. Whole fruits typically contain less sugar than its juice form. The bottom line is this, 100% fruit juice can help you round out your fruit intake, but eating more whole fruits should be your primary goal. Do this and your fruit choices will be fit to eat.
Welcome back. I tell you what, huh? Now, you cheated. I did. I put my finger you in You had a little taste of the barbecue sauce, but it I is good. I didn't think you huh? were looking. <laughs> All right, so I said we're going to use the same pan, and I mean it. So this is going to be the base of the turnip, actually of the collard grains. I'm going to throw quite a few onions. And I love, love, love caramelized onions. Red, are they red? I'm well known for garlic on the Gulf Coast. I can tell. I don't think there's a restaurant I have that you're not going to see fresh garlic. So we throw that in. What kind of, what type of onion? You know, these these are actually beautiful sweet Vidalia onions. Yeah. And I love them. Yeah. Now we're going to put the radishes in I talked about. And that gives it its own little kind of pep and pizzazz. And uh, mm -hmm. I love that little spiciness they have. The radish never had that much taste to me just eating on them, but I, they do have a little taste when you put them in with this stuff. They really do. They really do. Now, we're going to add just a little bit of oil, and then I've saved, and this is a little bit of wine. Now, that wine will help us get all of that browning from the pork, and look at that. Isn't that great? Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Won't take it long. Do you want them to get soft? You mm -hmm. want the radishes to get soft? Or yeah, not really. I like the crunch. Yeah. That's going to be one of the crunches because we're going to add the garbanzo beans in. We'll do that in, in spurts. Then just a little black pepper. This is not spicy by intent. A little coriander. That's ground cilantro. And a little cumin just to kind of give it a great blend of flavors. I like to use a variety of spice so that you're never bored and you're eating healthy. And I tell you this what. This is two mixtures I would have never dreamed would all go together. Well, it makes it kind of fun. Now we're going to add in a good handful of red bell pepper for the color. And here you got to think, now you're making this for your family. I know, this is I'm, all I'm gonna growing go. them. I've got my bell peppers are up about this high already. Isn't that, isn't that neat? Yeah, we'll have them. It usually takes about 60 days to get them. Well, and you notice the one thing I'm not doing? I do not overcook my collard greens. I don't. I'm going to pan sear them to where they're crispy, mm -hmm. but they still have all the nutritional value. I'm not one of those guys that loves those overcooked greens, and I just don't. <laughs> you know, you put all the lard in there uh, know, and all the garlic. It's a Mississippi by the, tradition. By, by the time you're done with that, you really shouldn't be eating it, you know? Well, unfortunately, I, I'm a little bit different on that. Little Dijon mustard, because that's one of Very the things. And this is a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And I love using balsamic vinegar. It has an incredible flavor. Is this recipe written anywhere? Yes. Yes. It's funny you should ask that. I'm worried. Because I think you no, make this up. No, you can go to mpbonline.org slash fit to eat. And it's in there. And we're in there. We'll be That's in there. Fantastic. You can actually get this recipe exactly well, the way I it is. I encourage everybody to try it because it's, uh, the aroma will starve you to death and nothing else. It's wonderful. Well, and this really is kind of fun. So what I did, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in this pan. I knew we'd have an overflow here. So I'm going to move some of this into the smaller pan as well, just to help it cook a little faster. So we're going to have it going in two. Then we're going to remove it, put it in the large bowl. Because basically, all my fun ingredients are in there. Now, we had crushed pepper. It's spicy enough. Yeah. I'm not going to put it in. That's okay. for you. Anybody at home wants to spice theirs up. More? It's in the recipe. Yeah. I don't think it actually needs it though, so we're not going to do that. And then on this, gosh, that looks good. That's basically where I want it. I want everything a little crunchy yeah. with a little texture. So we take it and put it in the bowl to hold it. Now let's pop these back here. Kind of finish that side out. And now, like I told you, I don't put anything in the pan with the actual collard green. Put it with the color side down, and you're almost pan searing it. It's really different, huh? Yeah, very. And you'll see what happens on it. So we're going to do them all that way. We're ready on this one. Put it in the pan. That didn't take very long, really. No, and I love it that way. Yeah, look at that. Crunchy. It's just sitting there. Yeah. All that goodness is sitting there. Now we'll put a little bit more oil. And remember, we're not using much oil. This is for a family of four. 
So we'll get that oil mixed around in the pan and then put our leaves down. Do the same here. And awesome. have a little bit of fun. We, we get them drunk a little bit, a little bit of wine. This could be water. Some people are real funny about using wine in cooking. Yeah. But I really like it. So now you're gonna notice what happens. And, and watch your shirt there. I'm used to this. That's all I'm trying to do. I kind of brown it. This one didn't get that one part. That's gonna become the base of our salad. So what does that do? That, you don't lose any of the nutrition this None. way. None. It just, it's just the way you want the taste and, and, to be. And I like it, I like it with the crunch, a little bit yeah. of a crunch. You know, is it typical what people are used to? Definitely not. But I really enjoy eating it this way. And that's all it really takes. Doesn't take much at all. It, just, it doesn't change, change the taste at all. No, and, mm -hmm. and it's, look at the vibrant I know, color. it looks good. That's it's, how you know it's gonna be good for you. Now we'll take some of these, pop them back in this pan, just finish these. And now you're doing okay over here, huh? Yeah, I'm, yep. keeping, I'm keeping it down. It's, it's looking, is. it's looking darn good. It is, it is cooking well. It's hard to tell when pork actually cooked. I know. know. I know. How do you do that? You know, it's really texture. I, I do feel, it by touch. touch. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of times you really need to be sure you don't undercook it. Yeah. And that can be a problem. You know, that can really be a problem. So what we're doing is we're going to take these greens, flip them down here. We can turn this back burner and actually all of the burners on this off. Because what we're going to do, kind of make it real pretty on one side where we're going to put all those that beautiful is, ingredients. Awesome. I mean, look at that. I know. I'm saving one for you. We've got plenty. <laughs> We've got plenty here. Well, so this how one. about I save one little piece for you? Please, before the staff gets a hold of it. Yeah, well, there won't be anything left. When the I staff know. takes home, it's, it's gone. gone. It's done. We can move those out the way. And now the beautiful part of this is you get to add that, that beautiful awesome. topping. And I put it as much as I can on top. And remember, now you've got the bulk of your family eating beautiful, fresh veggies. Yeah, I mean, that is so you healthy. Know, and, and I like to keep where you can see the greens, like this. Yeah. And then, of course, my little portion for you here. Thank you very much. Got to try it. I don't Although worry. You, che you cheated already. I already cheated. I know. I All did. right, so now we'll take them and just turn them one time. And then I'm going to move this pan over here. All right, good to go. And you, yep, you can take that one and put it All in right. the sink if you like. And then we'll pull the plate close. Look at that. I mean, does that look good? Tell me a family couldn't enjoy this. Well, if they can't, they need to come to one of your restaurants. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I find it hard to believe that they couldn't and enjoy just watch that. You cook. Get the kitchen table and watch you cook. Now, I'm going to actually let you I'm gonna have start. a little fun. Now, wait, I noticed one thing I didn't do. You want to do the blessing? <laughs> yeah, we, we may need to do that. You got to get some of the blueberries on there. Oh, it is awesome. The Look taste, at those blueberries, how they've melted yeah. down into the sauce. The taste is very, it, it's, it's got a little kick to it, but not enough that you that you got to drink water or anything. It's just enough no, to make it smooth. That's, that's really the idea. I, I mean, you can always spice it up a little bit more, but I take some of this sauce then. I'm going to be doing this while you're trying that. All right. And I tell you what, I love the aroma. I haven't even tasted it, but I'm telling you that aroma is oh, incredible. Man. That is really good, Rob. You, you out, like that? You outdid yourself. I mean, good. this was a fun one. I, uh, I knew you were coming, and I thought, I want to do something that's totally different that I knew you'd never have seen before. I have never seen that. And that was kind I mean, of the I goal. I love blueberries, and I've never seen you anything like that. Well, I think the fun part of this one is it's taking something that's indigenous to Mississippi. Yes. And using it in a way that it's never been used, both the collards, greens, and the blueberries. And radishes, you know I mean? At one point in time, Long Beach really was the radish capital of the country. And, and Ocean Springs was a tomato, and we, we had truck farms everywhere. 
I mean, we just have such great resources in our state that I don't think a lot of people are aware of. So this kind of is a way to showcase them. And I tell you what, as I'm looking at this, that's really where I see it. I'm gonna make a little bit of presentation there. But you gotta admit, that, that is a family of four feast. It is. And I would assure you, if I, if someone came out with that, I'd be very impressed. Well, I mean, that's all, and it wasn't that hard. No. You, you had you had it running all, you had all your ingredients laid out, and it wasn't that hard to do once you got started. What what's innovative is the fact how you did all of that. Well, thank you. Starting with the blueberry and the mixture and all the tang, it's, it's just awesome. Yeah, and you know, it's funny because it's got just that subtlety of the smokiness. It does. And just that sweetness of the blueberry. Yeah. It really, to me, makes it kind of one of those fun things. And then you've got your this family is, this is loading the, uh, up on protein. Absolutely. This is the other white meat, as they call it. Yeah. And it's very good for you. There's nothing, all, everything on there is heart healthy. Yeah. There well, I tell you what, if you're interested in any of the recipes you see on today's show, visit our webpage at mpbonline.org slash fit to eat. So obviously, I'd like to thank our guest, um, Delbert, one, one more, one more under our belt. And uh, I'm your host, Rob Stinson. Eat well.